Hello, hello beautiful people. I'm so happy to see you again for a new episode. I want to start by really saying thank you to everyone who's listening and who has ever listened. We have reached over 16,000 plays in less than one year and a half. And that's huge. So I'm very, very grateful that you are more and more numerous to be listening to me. So thank you. And I am very happy to be providing tips, value and sharing these moments with you, brainstorming together. So really want to say thank you from the bottom of my, from the bottom of my heart. So without further ado, let's dive into this episode. So do you really have a money block? And we saw in the previous episode uh, four tips to clear money blocks. But let me tell you that blocks in relationships can also create money blocks, especially as a business owner or as a creator in general. If you are afraid, if you have some fears within you that are preventing you from attracting your clients, contractors, opportunities, this is of course going to have an impact on your financial situation, right? It's going to create imbalances. So a way to know if you have a money block or if it's something else is, well, first of all, if you feel, if you really feel that you have cleared blocks, if you don't feel uncomfortable around money anymore, but something is still missing, then you might want to consider this. And also, if you feel that you are encountering financial or money blocks only in your business, but for example, you are very good at manifesting discounts, coupons or special offers or winning prizes, for example, or people giving you things like out of the blue, your neighbor just rings your doorbell and comes with a big box of vegetables, for example. This means that you don't really have an issue with prosperity in itself, but there is something connected to your business specifically. And especially if you used to be in a corporate job and you you had a good position and you had a good income, now you're finding yourself maybe struggling a little bit financially or plateauing then this is your proof because you you didn't have any problem getting this job and doing the work, meeting your goals. But now as a business owner, it might be a little bit more difficult. So that's what I'm talking about here. So of course, relationship blocks have a direct connection to the way you perceive yourself. Even if you are not aware of these things, you think you are cool with yourself, like, Oh, uh, yeah, I I have a good relationship with myself. I've worked hard. We are really talking about subconscious blocks or patterns here and also energy blocks. Well, I guess we can agree to say that anything contained in your subconscious mind is in your energy field anyway, right? So my goal with this episode is to bring awareness to help you shift what needs to be shifted so that you can attract this prosperity through your business once your money blocks have been cleared, if you ever had any. And this is something I realized for myself at the beginning of my business. I thought I had a money block years ago, but actually that wasn't. That was a fear of being judged because I went from being an administrative manager, like an executive, you know, like something that people, especially in my area, because, well, now things are changing, but, you know, we're talking about 2014, 2015, when I started to to transition to open my business in 2016. That was a little bit different, right? Especially in a rural area. So for people I knew, it was like, Basically, what's wrong with you? Like, you had a good job, you had a good job opportunity, and now you just want to do things with energy 
and open your business. Why take such a risk? <laughs> the truth was that I had this fear of being judged, like how are people who know me going to perceive me? Well, now I don't really care, you know, because I know my people know me and accept me for who I am. And I'm very grateful for that, just like I accept them for who they are. And those who don't get it, I wish them well. And my door is open for the time when they will want to come back or to work with me. So this is something I always say, to bring awareness, shine light on shadow aspects and on blind spots as well. So if after this episode, things have shifted for you or you're about to have a breakthrough and you would need some more help, some support to accelerate your journey and get to the root cause to shift that from your subconscious mind, from your energy field, remove these things, uh, whether it is relationship blocks or any kind of patterns that are not serving your highest good and that are preventing you from getting out of your comfort zone, from reaching your goals and from anything that is holding you back from reaching your next level success, then feel free to book your session with me, business recalibration, relationship recalibration, or book a free clarity call if you would like to have a more private conversation with me. So maybe if you have shame around pricing and I'm here talking more specifically to service providers or artists who are selling something that is not tangible or that is not an item meaning you're not selling a table okay because a table you buy a table you build it if you build it yourself you know the price of the raw material to create it so you have an idea of the price range right but when it's about services and whether you are starting as a business owner or you are wanting to scale or increase, develop your activity, reach out for new horizons, you might struggle to put a price on your services. So I'm not a business coach. I'm not talking about strategy here. I'm talking to the human being behind the business. So like I was saying, if you're struggling to set a price, you might think it's a money block, like I said, but maybe you're afraid of being seen as someone who only wants money, quote unquote, obviously, a fear of being judged, a fear of being seen as someone who takes advantage. Maybe you have a fear of being rejected. This is my new project. How are my clients going to accept that? How are they going to react? How are my loved ones going to react? Especially if you're pivoting or you're starting a totally new project and people don't know you for that. They don't know this aspect of you. So there there might be a fear of being judged. And once again, you might not be aware of that because it might be related to being bullied as a child or being shamed for being not enough this or too much that, whatever it might be. You can also have a fear of success or of not being able to maintain the level of success. You know, okay, maybe you are also told, well, be satisfied with what you have And don't ask too much from life. And of course, yes, you want to be satisfied with what you have. I mean, in the sense of gratitude. You need to be grateful for what you have. But you don't have to settle for that. It's totally fine to aim for more. It doesn't make you greedy. It doesn't make you a bad person. It just makes you a a human being who is passionate about freedom about impacting others, and that's beautiful. Don't apologize for wanting more. You might also see others as a threat. If you were birdied at school, for example, because you you feel that there is a threat. You cannot be yourself. You cannot feel safe to be seen for who you are. Because you were told things, or you were gaslit, for example, or you were told that you were too emotional, or too sensitive, whatever, it doesn't matter. But something that hurt you as a child and really marked this in yourself, really affected you. Maybe 
you were not encouraged as a child or even when you launched your business and this echoed some childhood wounds. Even if you know you can do it, you can succeed, you might need someone to help you find the strength within yourself, having someone to support you while you find those things within you. And then also, being of service doesn't mean working for free or betraying yourself to reach for your dreams, okay? So all of these really have to do with giving yourself permission to reach your next level and once again reaching your next level might be a little bit broad but success is personal it could be having more free time to be with your family homeschool your kids it could be being a nomad or a digital nomad of course gaining more financial freedom mental freedom emotional freedom feeling that you don't have to depend on anyone you know this uh independence but in a healthy way it's all about seeing that you are safe you are safe to do your business according to your own rules and you are safe to be who you are and once again i'm not a business coach i'm talking to the human being because the more you heal yourself and you remove those blocks the more you're going to have fun in your business the more you're going to attract clients or contractors, or a team, whatever it is, or shows if you're an artist, that feel aligned and that feel good to you. You're going to attract opportunities that you would never have imagined. People are going to reach out to you and offer you to collaborate with them, for example. Clients are just going to sign up, out of the blue, even if you have never seen them in your space before. So, it's all about you, and of course, when we talk about relationship, it's not only business relationship, but it's also improving your relationships with your spouse, your partner, your children, your even your pets. You're going to see the difference in the way you interact, even strangers, in shops or in the street. It's all about what you radiate, what you emit to the world, to the universe. So I think that's all I wanted to say for today about is it really a money block or is it a people block? Like maybe you are a people pleaser and that's okay. I'm a doormat recoverer, as I like to, to joke about. We all have wounds. We can all grow, heal from them and you can unleash your potential. You can give yourself permission to get out of this comfort zone and just embrace it. So yeah, if you feel that you could use some support and clearing of those patterns, self-sabotage, procrastination, fear of being judged, humiliation, I'm here to help you and to assist you with the business recalibration session. And once again, we work on you. If you would like to chat with me, book your free clarity call and we can talk about what is going on in your life to see if we could be a good fit to work together or if you have any questions I'm here or you can drop me an email via the contact form on my website morganrose.com thank you once again very much for having been with me I'm very very grateful and if you have any suggestion or any topic that you would like me to tackle or even a guided meditation, you can feel free to send me an email as well and uh, or a DM on Instagram and drop your suggestion and I will do my best to do as much as I can. So let's connect and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.